What do you think the film's going to entail? I can tell you immediately what I think it's going to be. I think it'll... I mean, there, it seemed like there was a lot more footage with Cyborg. Just yeah. from the trailers and the yeah. stuff that Zack Snyder has released, like just still images. Right. I would imagine there's more character development That's within yeah, that was his my character. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I would hope a little bit more with, with Flash. Uh, there's more. There's a whole you know, a whole scene about I his think, background. I think those two characters need to stand out in mm-hmm. this Snyder cut. Right. Um, with Aquaman, I mean, my opinion with with the theatrical release that they had, Aquaman shouldn't even been in the picture. My opinion. I loved the movie, mm-hmm. Aquaman's movie, but uh, yeah, th- there was no reason for him to be in Justice League. I feel, you know, it's just kind of like. Yeah, you're trying to make the Justice League, and Aquaman's in the comics, he's in the Justice League, but yeah. at the same time, if you're going to have these heavy characters mm-hmm. and these very popular characters that need to be in the film, utilize them. Right. There is no use for Aquaman in the, the actual cut. So I don't know what they're going to do with him, mm-hmm. but I'm hoping Cyborg and Flash are more developed and we get to see more of their characters. Because I think those two played those characters perfectly yeah, they for played the style well. they were going with. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Especially um, with The Flash, too, with, with Edson Miller's, I mean... Portrayal. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people compare him to the the um, the TV version of Flash, uh, which I've never seen the show. A lot of people recommend it, but, you know, you, I feel like you can't compare the two. You just can't. Um, people have different ways of playing their characters, and some people like the ways other people play it, and it's just, it's just all up to what you prefer. Um, but getting back to the film, I agree. I think there's going to be way more character development. Development in terms of story, the st- I don't think the story is going to change much. Uh, we saw the brunt of it. Zach Schneider, I don't know if he's on Twitter or something, but I always see things pop up, you know, official releases that he puts out. And someone asked, like, are we going to get that, uh, you know, that style of Steppenwolf that we're gonna have, mm-hmm. and he kind of like gave like a little winky face with an emoji. So yeah, it, even that the whole character might have a redesign of him. That'd be cool. But and he released something with yeah Dark Side too. Re- well, Dark Side's gonna go. apparently gonna be in like a uh, a post credit because yeah. the actor who played Dark Side came out and said he filmed uh, lines and um, I think mocap for the character. Um, but like I was trying to say before. Uh, it's going to be a four-hour cut. So it's either going to be a four-hour film. Well, right right now, they just have where it's a Snyder cut release. Mm-hmm. They, they didn't really... I think it's they're saying around three or four hours. If it's that, I'm, I would imagine they would break it into like, uh, you know, into like parts. Mm-hmm. Probably like, f- if it's like four hours, probably right. do, you know, four parts. Four, four like a miniseries. Okay. Kind of like uh, on Netflix... Right. Hatefully. Right, right, right. The extended cut they have, you know. But still, we're getting double the amount of footage that we were originally supposed to get. We actually weren't supposed to get it, but we're getting double the amount of footage um, compared to the theatrical release. So uh, automatically, there's going to be a lot of content that we didn't see, and which they, is cool. It's reported that it's when, when Snyder's release was first announced, it was reported it was going to take 20 to 30 million just to redesign everything. They think it's going to be even more than that. Yeah, and now they're saying it could be like even 70 to 80. That The, right. the president of Warner Bros. Media or something came mm-hmm. out and said that. He was like, yeah, it's going to be way more. I mean, because if they're going with Schneider's vision, I would imagine he's just erasing all CGI, all styles, all colors, all that, and just completely redesigning everything. I would imagine. Right. You know, since it was, has such a heavy... Um, you know, impact with his release. Um, I would imagine he would just want to race everything and start from scratch, which is fine. Which they're going to need the money for. Yeah, you know? and that's fine. Uh, I heard there's, there's going to be no reshoots for the film. It's just going to be strictly uh, post production kind of things. There's going to be no reshoots. Yeah. Um, but uh, here's a quote from J.K. Simmons, who plays Commissioner Gordon uh, in the film, and he had to say about. This is what he had to say about the Snyder Cut. Uh, This is from cinemablend.com. Well, I'm always interested, just as a creative artist, in seeing a director's full vision, and Zack is such a great guy. The circumstances surrounding the post-production on that film was such a tragedy, personally, for him. So, for so many reasons, I'm really looking forward to seeing his vision come to light, and the fact that the fans have rallied around and made that possible, he appreciates, and I do as well. 